Hello and welcome once again to my YouTube channel. Uh, in this particular video, I'm going to be showing you how to manipulate studio background and also make it look realistic as if uh, the model was standing there. As in, it shouldn't look like an overlay, it, sh it should look like the original studio background. So, these are before, here's the before of the picture, this is what the picture looks like before, and this is the result. So I'm going to be teaching you how to work on that aspect, how to bring in your valley, how to clean blem blemishes from the background. And also in the next video, I'm going to be showing you how to create this smooth effect. How to create this smooth effect like this. Very, very easy. So with no further ado, let's jump into the, uh, the thing we came here to do. So firstly, uh, I'm going to delete this is our work layer over here. I'm going to delete this so that we can start afresh. Then the next step for we to do now is for we to remove our model from the background. Uh, but before we do that, uh, you can decide to retouch your picture first, uh, then manipulate as the final result, or you can manipulate first, then retouch your picture uh, as the final result. But I love retouching my pictures first before moving to manipulation aspect. Or well, you can decide to do anyone, but I think this is the best way so I can collaborate it together at the same time. So what are we going to do next? We are going to click on our Ctrl J to duplicate our layer right now. So first thing we are going to do now is to remove our model from the picture, from the total image. So I'm going to click on my quick selection tool. I'm currently using Photoshop CC19, so it's do a perfect job for me. Just have to make few adjustments to it. So I'm going to click on select subjects. Then wait for it to load. Uh, sometimes it can it can be fast, and also it can also not be fast. Depends on how uh, the system RAM is. So let's wait for it to load. So these are the selection. This is the selection we got. Uh, it's okay, but it's not all that perfect. So I'm going to use my polygonal lasso to to amend that uh, to crop out some areas again. So I'll click on my polygonal lasso to right here. Polygonal lasso to. So I'm going to add some selection. I'm going to remove some selections just to make it perfect. Uh, like the arrow right over here, which is the hand, is cropping away part of the hand. So we are going to put it on additional to add it back. So trim over the edge gently. So done with that. If added that to the selection. So let's look for that places too. Okay. Also have an issue here too. So this time around it's going to be on minus. So I'm also going to do that area also okay i think we're good with that so i'll do this place also okay let's look for other areas too let's look for other areas just to make sure we have a perfect cropped out image so that's the reason why we are doing all this so let's check here also okay so also that's quite the PCR structure over here so we are going to amend that put it on addition also so we are going to trim it over. Just to make sure we have a perfect selection. That's the reason why we are doing all this. So we have done with the face. So let's go to the leg. So I know there will be issues there too. Okay, as you can see over right here. It's not crop out the leg for us perfectly fine. 
so I'm just going to do that with the polygonal axis too. I'm going to make amendment there. Sorry, I'm using uh, subtraction here instead of addition. I'm going to be using the subtraction here. Here also, I'll be using the subtraction. So zoom in very well to see what they are doing to make sure it's perfect. Okay, so uh, this tool we are going to be making use of addition because we want to add to the tool. So we'll change back to addition. Also trim over the area again. Okay, and the last area is still going to be on subtraction. Go back to subtraction again. You're going to remove that selection. Just make sure you do it gently to have a perfect cropped out image. To avoid any error later on while adding an overlay to the picture. So we're done with the selection right now. So we're just going to hit on our country G to separate our layer model from the background. So I'm to turn off my true background layer now. As you can see, she's standing on her own. So we don't want the first step. The next step now is to expand the background. So how am I going to do that? It's very easy. So let me turn off this my layer right now. So we are working on this layer, this by this other layer one, which has the model and also has the background too. So what am I going to do now? Before we extend the background, I would like to clean off this area first. This is my soft box I'm using, so I would like to clean that area out. So my, oh my, what am I going to do? I'm going to select that area. I'm going to select it using my polygonal lasso to also. I will select it. So I will right click, go to fill, under fill, I will click on content away. So I will click my OK, wait for it to load. can see right now it's still the perfect job for us so the only thing we need to do now is just to expand the background so am i going to expand the background now i'll go to my rectangle marker too i'm going to drag over this area but make sure it doesn't touch your model so you can move closer to her but make sure it doesn't touch any component of our body from our head so maybe a piece of our fabrics so watch out for stuff like that if not i'm going to drag uh drag that along with the background and it's going to look all realistic so i've already selected this area so i'm going to click on my ctrl c for free transform then i'll order my shift key then i'll drag from here as you can see i click my ok well i think it's still showing some white line over here so i'll still click on ctrl c again order my shift key and expand I click OK. I'm to control D now. You will see it looks realistic. You won't see uh, any inch that I drag the background from over here. So that's the way I do my. So I'll repeat the same step on the three other sides too. So see control C again. Hold on my shift key. Drag. Click on my OK. Uh, on the leg aspect, you have to be careful while doing it. As you can see, uh, the leg is closer to the background, so we have to watch out for the for the leg so that it won't crop out of the leg. So, control T again, same thing here. Drag it down, drag it down, drag it down, drag it down. Okay, control D select. Uh, go to the left hand side also. Repeat the same step there. Control T. 
So I think we're done with that. Control D to deselect. So we done with the post uh, step. So the next step is for we to remove blemishes from the background. As you can see, there are tons in the background. So we are going to remove that. Before we do that, I would love to. The first thing we did before is we remove the model from the background. So this time around, now we delete the model from the background. So how are we going to do that? I'm going to control click on the image on the model itself. So I'll go to it. I'll go to select under select. I'll go to modify then expand. So expand by eight. I can expand by ten. I can expand by twelve. So any amount I want, I click on my OK. So I'll now right also right click on it again. Go to fill. Under my fill, I'll go to content aware. I'll say click on OK. Uh, the reason why we are filling this uh, place, the reason why we are deleting the model from the background is that uh, we are going to blow out the background. So if we are to leave her there now, she's going to blow, get blood uh, with the background, which will, which will be obvious. It's going to show other colors, as in her skin color, everything. It's going to show it on the background, which is not what we want. You just want to blow the background alone. So that's why we are removing her from the background. You can see right now, we already, deleted that from, we already deleted that from the background. So now let me remove some blemishes uh, using my using my patch tool before I move to blur. So I'm going to cycle and drag and drag to whatever area I want to be. So cycle, I will drag. I will cycle, I will drag, I will cycle, I will drag. So, yeah, I'm okay with you right now. So, I'll click on my Ctrl G to deselect. So, the next thing I'll do now, I'm going to Ctrl J to duplicate. I'll now go to my filter. From my filter, I'll go to Block, under Block. I'll go to Gaussian Blur. So I'm going to increase it. I will increase it. Can I see if it. I'll click my OK now. We'll blow that to the blemishes, but it won't be looking realistic enough now. Okay, let me show you something. Now I place my model back on the picture. Uh, the background is looking all that cool, nice. But uh, there's no longer shadow on the foot. I mean, shadows like this. So we are going to add that back. So how are we going to do that? Now? Uh, I'm going to create a layer mask here. Then I'll go to my gradient. I'll make sure my gradient is on black and white. So I'll click on my gradient. I'll make sure my brush color is on black. So then I'm going to drag. You can see. You can see right now. You can see what it does for us. I created the shadow back for us, so it's now looking a little bit realistic than earlier. So we're done with all the steps for now. So the next step now is for we to import our background into Photoshop. So I'm going to drag the background from this location. So I'll drag my background into Photoshop right now. I'll drag it into Photoshop. Wait for it to load. As you can see, I'm going to expand it to, uh, to fit uh, the entire background. As you can see right now. Click on my OK. So the reason why it's not showing right now is because it's still on my model so I'll have to bring it down below as you can see right now it's looking a little bit realistic but the foot is not yet set on the floor so I'll still control T again with expand it a little I will expand it a little then I'll make some few adjustments so I can as well leave it like this but I'm going to change the blend mode right now or it's blending with the background I'll change the blend mode from normal to soft lights. 
you can see it's blended in perfectly but it's still not looking that realistic so i'm going to add some shadows to it i'm going to add the shadow by using a lot file so i'm going to be dropping the lot file for you guys to download so i'll go to my cover adjustment layer not my cover adjustment layer i'll go to color lookup then i'll search for Andorra standard Andorra standard once i click on it now as you can see automatically added shadows for us you can see to make it look cool realistic but the saturation in the background is too much you just click on the background then control u for u and saturation just reduce the red reduce the saturation go to master reduce it do the saturation click on ok so you can as well color grid later on with other files you have i'm only going to be dropping uh the lot i use this particular lot other lot are premium parts that are for sale interested in buying you can contact me via my whatsapp and i'll get back to you as soon as possible so in the next tutorial i'm going to be showing you guys how to create uh, smooth effects very very easy to create i'm showing you guys how to create smooth effects so uh, stay with me guys don't forget to like and subscribe to my youtube channel and also turn on the notification icon if you have any questions you can contact me my details are below i'll get back to you as soon as possible one love guys